Earlier this week, top genocide suspect Felicien Kabuga was transferred from Paris to The Hague uh, for uh, detention pending trial, uh, as opposed to earlier uh, announced decision to transfer him to Arusha. Now, earlier today, we spoke to Abu Bakr Tambadu, the registrar of the International Residue Mechanism for Criminal Tribunal, regarding this decision and much more. Mr. Abu Bakr Tambadu, many thanks for joining us here on Rwanda TV News. It is my pleasure to be here today. Um, so, I understand a lot has been happening uh, wherever you are in the Netherlands, the Hague, uh, to be specific. Uh, let's talk about the arrest. No, not the arrest of Kabuga, but where it, the process is right now. What next uh, following his transfer from France to The Hague? Well, thank you um, for your question. Um, I can confirm that um, following the arrest of um, Mr. Felician Kabuga um, from, um, in France uh, and following his transfer um, to the mechanism on 26th October, 2020, um, he has been transferred to the United Nations Detention Unit here in The Hague, and the next step in his case um, pretty much involves the scheduling of his initial appearance, that is his appearance before a judge to answer to the charges um, that will be read out to him. Now, the date and the modalities for this initial appearance um, haven't been set as yet and this will be determined um, soon in due course. But we are working on arrangements to ensure that the initial appearance um, occurs as quickly as possible. Mm. What informed the decision? What made the decision uh, to transfer him uh, to The Hague and not Arusha, the best uh, option, uh, which was actually regarded the best option of the two? Well, as indicated in the decision of the judge, who ordered for his temporary, I underscore the word temporary, transfer um, to The Hague. Um, this is based on exceptional circumstances. Um, based on the information available to us before Mr. Kabuga was transferred into our custody, um, I as registrar and my medical staff were not in a position to make an informed assessment of his medical condition. And therefore, um, to make a proper determination of the involved risks and his ability to travel. Now, given these reasons, the judge deemed that there were exceptional circumstances allowing for Mr. Kabuga's temporary transfer to the Hague branch of the mechanism, as his travel to the Hague will pose a lesser risk given the current situation in particular so that a detailed medical assessment can also be conducted. However, let me stress that he is expected to be tried at the mechanisms branch in Arusha. So his transfer here to the Hague um, on Monday 26th of October is just temporary. Okay. Uh, so um, there is a possibility that he, at some point he will be transferred to uh, you know, Arusha or is there also another possibility that he, at some point, will be transferred to, to Rwanda? Well, um, I can confirm to you that his trial is expected to be held in Arusha, um, where the Arusha branch of the mechanism is um, located. Mm -hmm. um, that is the situation for the time being, and this is what I can confirm to you. Okay. Uh, during your visit, a recent visit to, to Rwanda, what are some of the things you saw? Uh, what some of the lessons uh, you picked from your visit to Rwanda that is related to Kabuga's case? Well, um, perhaps allow me to say in more general terms that uh, my visit to Rwanda um, has actually um, confirmed my long-held view that uh, the government and people of Rwanda are quite supportive and cooperative of the uh, cooperative with the mechanism. Um, I have um, sense a renewed, a renewed sense of um, cooperation, of partnership, of interest in the work of the mechanism, particularly in light of the arrest of Kabuga. And I believe going forward, um, this um, cooperation, this um, partnership that already exists between um, Rwanda and the mechanism will only be strengthened. Okay. Uh, how can survivors of the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi 
trust the independence and the fairness of the mechanism. Yet there are some reservations about cargo gas transfer uh, from uh, Paris uh, to, to, to The Hague. Well, um, let me stress that the mechanism applies the highest standards on the international law when um, subjecting um, accused persons um, to its jurisdiction. I wish to emphasize as well that the mechanism in accordance with its statute is mandated to complete the remaining cases. The Kabuka case is one of those cases that was earmarked for trial um, by the mechanism. Now, um, the, the, the fact that Kabuga is brought to the Hague, um, as I said, perhaps is, uh, or the unpopularity associated with that, as you say, is uh, perhaps stemming from the misunderstanding that um, Kabuga um, is perhaps being sent to the Hague on a permanent um, basis, which is not the case, as I have just clarified to you. His transfer to the Hague is temporary, is to enable my, my team make the necessary assessment about whether he is fit or the circumstances are conducive to um, enable him embark on an intercontinental um, travel um, given the situation, given his own health issues and also given the um, current pandemic. Um, but um, having said that, I am sure that um, at some point um, in the not too distant future, Kabuga will be transferred to Awisha to stand trial um, in the same way that other ICTR accused persons were um, brought before the ICTR and I believe is um, um, more proximate um, to Rwanda. Mr. Abubakar Tambadu, the Registrar of the International Residue Mechanism for uh, Criminal Tribunals. Many thanks for finding time to speak to us here on Rwanda TV. Thank you. It's always my pleasure. I appreciate it.